Hello viewers, and here we are then looking at a bit of truck driver uh, coming here. Uh, and so a console game coming out for consoles as well. Normally the truck driving games classically have been PC dominated. And here we see uh, a, a game for the consoles that we're seeing here. And uh, rather than an edited preview, we're looking at my first fresh hands-on that we're seeing fresh with the wheel. Uh, no gloves. Should we get the gloves? Let's get the gloves, let's get racy. Let's get racy and let's check out uh, some truck driver gameplay. Let's have a look at, hopefully the options will be, do you know what, we will have a little look at the options. See what we've got here. I'm gonna leave everything as standard. This is important for me, I've just gotta take a, a mental note on the button, so you gotta make sure you get everything there. Start your engine indicators cruise control i don't think i'll be using that because i just like to cruise uh all right so have a look the same things obviously handbrake we're gonna need the handbrake i have no idea where the handbrake is going to be on here because my wheel shows different buttons but that's fine it's fine that's good steer very important very important and opening game menu well we'll see what how we do that when the time comes when you when you put a steering wheel on it has uh, completely changed everything we're gonna go new game new game for the first time and uh, see what we make of this we've seen a couple of trailers and this is the ps4 version so still very much a work in progress I mean this game still has months of development ahead of it I'm actually amazed that we've got the opportunity to just show an early game at this stage therefore there may be occasional you know quirks and oddities in terms of gameplay at this early stage of development so be aware of that we've got the racing gloves on we're ready to uh, do our best and um, try and uh, drive <laughs> oh geez our character then let's take a look He does look a bit crazy, doesn't he? This picture is his like eyes. He looks like he's just gonna beat you up, doesn't he? Let's go with him. Yeah, let's do it. Don't mess with me, pal. Alright. Oh. Welcome. Stuck in them. Oh, he's typing. I like that. Nice touch. Alright. This is gonna be terrible. I mean, I'm going to be terrible. Do I really have to? Okay, we'll keep it short. Alright, then we saw that, didn't we? Press down, does it tell you? No. Yeah. Okay. We've got to steer, we've got acceleration and brake. So when it's like driving lessons, it's like, uh, it's like uh, when you first get into a car and you, you get, you, you know, you know, you've got the gear, you just got the biting point, you start rolling forward. All right, and we're in our truck and we're going to go out for a drive. We've got our steering wheel here. Nice and smoothly, don't take it too quickly. Where are we going? Oh, I can't, I've got to figure out how to look. No. Well, I don't know how to look, but there is a little radar there, so let's just take a turn then. I don't know if it's turned off my indicator, but hopefully it's turned off. Am I driving on the right side of the road? I don't know. And I've gone to a dead end. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. We're okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're just gonna, we're just gonna do a little, a little turn here and go back now and uh, just take a little drive, just a little drive. 
drive to the storage depot. Right. It helps the map is actually right behind you guys, and that's why I can't see it. Oh, right, I see now. Right, now I know where the map is. camera handy here and I don't know what button it is but uh... okay so the trailer's connected I had to make a slight cut there because I had to sort some things for me understanding where the Y button was on my wheel uh, the idea was to back really close right underneath the trailer uh, and then an attach icon came up and then we're ready to go take the trailer to Westerhaven by following sat nav directions Okay, so I'm driving an automatic. There's no need for gear shifting yet then. I'm being sensible. It doesn't actually say use your indicators, does it? But I am anyway. Taking it nice and easy, viewers. Down the, uh, down the motorway. Well, I suppose your cruise control is handy if you're doing long drives. You just want to sing a few songs, you know, keep yourself awake. Goodness me, think about the the action going on on the road here. It's pretty quiet still. At least we get from A to B pretty quickly. I don't even know what lane I'm supposed to be in, really. Oh. Help if I had a mirror on that side, wouldn't it, really? <laughs> Having to use one mirror. Okay. That was a quick change in the light set. I've no idea if I need to steer deep into the corners. Or one says to me when I'm turning around a, a bend that I should give it a space for the trailer. I am driving in cockpit cam, uh, but I will look at all the different views in due course. You know, it's the sort of thing that when I was little, I used to think, I oh, imagine having a, a driving simulator, a bit like a kind of test drive in a way. You know, you sort of, it's more about sensible driving than it is about the the racing stuff we normally do i suppose you could get a bit grand theft auto on it but then you'd also damage whatever ratings you have as a driver and that would ruin the game i suppose in a way it's very difficult to say i mean kevin will be reviewing this at some point as well and we'll have some more previews to come this is not something i normally play uh, but it's uh we like to do anything that where you drive lovely views look at that smelling the sea air beautiful lovely look at that nice lovely views looks nice and sunny as well have some fish and chips for lunch it's making me feel hungry now just thinking about that. I need to find a nice truck driver greasy spoon. Okay. Oh, I wasn't indicating, was I? Just give us a bit of space through this corner. It's a bit tight there. Okay. So here we are then. We're... Uh, at the base now where we're supposed to be and uh, we'll just come in here and job to good oh 
automatic so they have an automatic parking system there we are done 100% accuracy yeah go find some clients might have jobs for you to do there you go so we'll go out and we'll find some clients we'll see we use money to purchase new trucks and parts from the garage so obviously we'll develop ourselves as truck drivers build a reputation for being amazing okay so we're back now and we've just dropped off our truck I've changed my rim back to the uh, standard TGT rim just so I know what buttons are what on the PlayStation. Always very different when you're using a different rim such as this one here, the Sparco, because obviously it doesn't tell you what the buttons are. So at least now we know and we're going to take a look at what we've got to do as I exit this facility and uh, drive on to our next place. It's a bit different with a smaller rim. It's more racy now. We're ready to race the... It's a bit close. It's a bit close close let's be sensible so where are we going now go to Charlie Dover for your first assignment all right then let's find Charlie Dover and let's work our way around and uh, have, a, have a look at those sea views lovely sea views and uh, where's the indicator there we are We're being sensible we can't see anyway I'll figure out all the buttons as we drive and why not let's press some buttons and see what happens and so we've got the sticks they don't do anything on the, uh, we've got the dials, they don't do anything on here. See if we've got any, we're just looking through the different buttons, L2, no, oh no, that's just that, back out of that. So we will figure out the buttons viewers, and I will find the other views eventually, but we're just going to enjoy some more driving, so now we're going to dri drive to Charlie. It's getting a bit more misty now. It's nice and sunny earlier, wasn't it? We're just we're gonna stop here and just there we are. Oh, he's letting us go. Thank you. So off we go then. Yeah, it's such a nice sunny morning, wasn't it? And. Uh, The odd random pedestrians wandering around. Well, we, we can't really see what we're doing, but that's all right. We're going to drive in here then, and let's find a job. Where do we go? Oh, at the end there. Find somewhere to park. Okay. Unlock the O-Motion driver passive. Now where do we go? We've got cash. 250 of the cash. What's this? Is this it here? Jobs. Jobs. Introducing Charlie Dover. You're the new driver, huh? Let's see if you've got what it takes. Right. Oi, new kid. Let's start with an easy job. All right then, I'm listening, I'm listening, I'm learning. All right then. Find the trailer, take it around the block. All right, then. so we're starting off with simple tasks. Simple tasks, and uh, where is the trailer? So let's find the trailer. be the trailer there I'm assuming because I can't see any others I 
and then you've got the one mirror to line up with so but that'll work there is a way to turn on other mirrors but if you've got a standard ps4 it's probably going to munch more frame rate and detail so we're going to just line it up here and just lock it in place there we go connect trade oh wrong button and right button i've gone too far hit the wrong button there we are there we are connect to trailer trailer now take it to the storage depot so now we've got the trailer we're gonna give ourselves some room and we're going to drive around and take ourselves out Racing gloves are needed for this purpose, always. Always let other drivers know your intention before you get to the corner. Not right on top of it. Give some time to react. They know what you're doing then. You know you're going to slow down, hit the brakes, slow down. Very sensible. Right. Where do we go now? And now we're going to go over here. I kind of wish it had that light just a bit sooner, but that's all right. Tighten there. So let's just take ourselves around here and just go into this this uh, box. Uh, let's get the accuracy. I think we're about okay there, lined up there. Let's get that done. Strange. Kind of thought we were right on top of it there. Don't quite know the accuracy problem there. But Did it want me to come around the other way? Does it feel I'm not on top of it enough? Let's go over this way a bit. Strange. Well, we're just going to take it. We're going to bank 70% because I, I don't quite know where the accuracy is going to be there. But clearly, that's something you can practice at home. All right, and we're happy with it anyway. 70%. That will do. Uh, teach a man to fish. Right, so that's that. We're gonna we're gonna move on. You've reached skill level one for your cargo container skill. It's a bit tight here, isn't it? Don't really want to uh, back into a river. See where we've got to go now. Look at our info. We've got to find an active mission. So let's see how we find an active mission. So as we'll go back around the corner and we'll see if there's any more jobs. Get another job from Charlie. Here again, 
and then once we've done some sort of longer range jobs then we can uh, you know, ascertain that we know what we're doing then we're ready now we do have headlights so it's getting dark so let's turn our headlights on we're going to learn how to do that let's find some jobs okay small inn near the lighthouse okay right all right that's on there now let's see if we can find out so this is where Oh, that's fine then. So we've got our headlights on now. We're going to just go off for a drive. This is a journey of discovery. First time playing it, viewers. It's an early build, so. Feeling drowsy. Feeling drowsy. So late. No, I feel okay actually. Just keep going. Just keep going. Just a co I just need a coffee. Then yeah, I'm good to go. Coffee, the lifeblood of drivers all around the world. I see uh, long distance drivers. Long haul. It's great now, isn't it? You know, for kids though. I mean, they they can get to learn how to drive various vehicles sensibly in a way. You know, so that when you do eventually get into a car, you've got all the wherewithal around you to actually take it all in and drive it quite sensibly. Ah, it's a nice evening. Look at that, not a cloud, or is it just misty at sea? Difficult to say. Here we go then. It's coming up here. all this for the first time and no doubt the more you do the more you'll explore the map and have longer and longer and longer hauls attach, attach the trailer to your truck right okay oh right okay it's a bit tight isn't it blimey it's a, it's a tight space here to uh, try and reverse into, but I suppose it's okay if you knew it was there. If you don't know it's there, then it's a bit tighter. But I, mean, I can't see it in the rear at all. So that must be it there. That's that, that square. Must be it. Come on. No, that wasn't it. I thought that square was the trailer. It's quite difficult to see because you need some kind of rear lights to see what you're backing into. I can't actually see the trailer. Is that it there? That is it. All right. This is square on the house I was reversing towards. Okay. Done the wrong thing again. Yep. Where do we go now? Just bring it over here. All right. Oh, 
sounds like a challenge you're on a step on it then step on it now step on it let's get down there quick I'm dozing off dozing off using my racing skills now on the power quickly journey back here. Now what are we going to do? We've got to park the trailer somewhere now. Seems going to be around here. There it is. Reverse parking trailers, that's going to be the challenge. I tried that last year in real life and I wasn't very good at it, honestly. It's, it's, it's strange mentality, steering the opposite way to the way you want to go. Now the last tra first trailer parked perfectly, but the second one didn't. I don't quite know. It's lining up with the uh, the front wheels here. I don't quite know where they are because I think that to me my front wheel, give or take, should be right on top of that. That should be just about perfect. Okay, it's fine. All right, awesome. Happy customer. Yeah! Okay. I feel good now. I feel good. I feel good that I've got a happy customer. They do give you some, occasionally, some, uh, some uh, tricky uh, areas to park in. Take your time now. Cargo refrigerators. Okay, that's fine. So let's find a rest area now then. Alright then. Let's find a rest area and have a rest. And then uh, let's see how that works. Okay. Okay. Okay, I fell asleep while driving because I was going to go to the rest area. Um, make sure this doesn't happen again. Right, okay. All right then. I've got to find rest areas. Right. Oh, stop. Brum, brum. Off we go. Dirt path. Rally trucks. Is that even a thing anywhere in the world? Let's go there and see what the refueling is like. Learn the process. So do let me know what truck games you guys have played. Is you know if you've played a lot of them, the Euro Truck Sims, everything else, what what's missing here? What am I missing? What am I missing? Uh, let me know. Uh, it'd be good to get your feedback. Uh, what would you, would you like to see in this as a console game that's different to the PC game? Uh, do let me know in the comments. It seems as long as you indicate the cars let you stop for you even if they have right away, which is really handy. So, oh, lovely views, aren't they? Nice, clear sky. Ah, oh, lovely weather, lovely weather. I don't 
don't know what the speed limit is on these roads, you know. I'm not like putting my foot down. You know, we're going at a reasonable speed, just not crazy. It's nice and chilled. It's a warm day today anyway, so I'm kind of feeling these warm vibes while I'm driving. Ah, there's a nice breeze, sea air. Everything looks very spring-like, you know, so quite dry there, so it looks warm. Uh, here is the refueling area, just going to investigate this area. And then we'll see what we do next. Now, is there a fuel gauge here? There is a fuel gauge. So I suppose we can just fill up while we're here, can't we? Tight. Okay, and refuel. We gotta hold it down. There we are. All done. Shh. Guess we paid for it, you know. Don't have to nip in. Get a packet of sweets. And off we go again. Just need a packet of sweets and you can have your little munch. Off we go. Now where are we going to go? I have no idea where we're going now, so we need to find some work to do. Let's see if we can just find some work on R2. Okay, so off we go then. Got our info on the map there. We'll be sensible with the driving and enjoy. I oh know we haven't got far to go. We just round the corner to get the trailer again. Oh, it always helps, doesn't it? Bit late for my indicating there. Where is the trailer? Don't quite know where it is. Uh, yep, I'm hauling today. A shipment of oysters for a party at some tech company. Wow, they need a lot of oysters. That's the trailer there, I'm assuming. Whatever, exactly, yeah, that's a lot of oysters, right. I've probably gone about this the wrong way, but whatever. Attach the trailer. I would like but it's worked that's fine okay and off we go it's a bit awkward because you've only got one mirror that's one of the things that it's a little bit disorienting that that way let's take the trailer off we go then having a drive and we could do a bit of music actually a bit of radio that's one thing that there's not there's no radio and I think it'd be nice to uh, to uh, have uh, 
little bit of radio just in the different towns you know a bit of in-house music find a couple of bands you know small bands that want to get signed chuck a bit of music on there okay that was close he just wasn't going to stop was he he's like let's not slow down for the big truck <clears throat> let's just drive into it ah oh, some nice cruise now there's no speed limits that i'm aware of uh we are going to unlock manual transmission truck eventually Nice little cruise, I'm not going that fast, let's go a bit quicker. It's a bit, bit slower when you've got the trailer on, obviously. Carrying a bit more weight, if you're not used to it. Going a bit quicker now. Don't really want to do more than 60. It's a twisty road, isn't it? It's not like these roads are short, you know, there's, there's lots of twists and turns. way around how far have we got to go six minutes oh, we're getting a bit close to the edge there have uh, we got enough time let's wait till this car guy goes don't quite he must have stopped for us thank you he didn't need to right away is sometimes a curious thing um, he, I think he was turning there anyway the sun is setting I'll have a long day of driving viewers long day of driving views during the sunset isn't that lovely isn't that lovely with our big truck of oysters wow these people have a few bob truckload of oysters it's a big party Monte Carlo massive Having a big one. Okay. This will be us. through the night I thought that was a freeway then, but it's okay. Let's 
got to be alert, you see. Alert. It's a quick light, wasn't it? So it turns green, it's uh, again. It's just nice to have a cruise. I mean, that's what these uh, these uh, sort of sims are all about, really. It's just the uh, the joy of driving itself, rather than intense motorsport. You know, it's just about chilling. It's about relaxing. It's about just having a good time and gradually developing some skills. When it comes to trailer reversing, that's going to be when it gets really challenging trailer reversing for those who are new to it for the first time very difficult as I say trying it in real life I I didn't I didn't get many much time on it you know I literally only had a few minutes but um, it was enough for me to didn't know I didn't see the peel off there um, it was enough for me to uh, realize that I would need a lot more time because you're sort of turning the opposite way to the way you're meant to be turning with a trailer and ah uh, farmers are amazing at it I mean wow and you see them doing it it's crazy we actually had barrels we had to you know back through and it was, uh, it was really great indicated there uh, too early aren't I? miles away and here we are then after a nice long drive where do you want your tons of oysters then Okay, it's a bit tight, isn't it? It's all right. I've got to say, it is very strict. It is very strict when it comes to. Uh, you know, we'll just, let's stick at 80, let's just get it done, otherwise we're going to be mucking around all day. We don't want to muck around all day, we got money to make. Right. Yep. Right. Ah. So they got more oysters than they needed. I was going to say, that's a lot of oysters. Let's go with the music. Yeah! Oh, motion robust and available. Okay. So then we'll be able to get our manual transmission, I assume. So now we go back to base. Oh. Any way out of here, or please tell me there's a way out. It's a bit tight round here, isn't it? Okay, it's fine. We're on the way out now, and uh, we're going to take a drive. I think. What are we doing now? No active missions. So, just going to uh, have a look and uh, see the map so we're all up there uh, see Charlie so the, the core jobs are down here there's no jobs up here anywhere so we're gonna we're gonna take a drive back 
to this section now and uh, let's find some more work I'm probably gonna have to rest again soon as well so I don't know quite didn't quite know what to do before when it came to resting so I should indicate there but you know no nobody's looking are they find a resting area soon okay so where do you find a resting area stamina refill all right let's do that then there's one there's one local now i know what they are so it's a stamina refill okay some sleep feel energized in the morning and then we're good to go you know it's just in here isn't it there it is stamina refill and sleep okay Oh, oh goodness, that was a quick sleep, and away we go. Engine not started. All right, then. now let's go to the map, and let's find our way to the next place again. We've not been there before, so let's go there, So it looks like there's work. not selecting it for some reason let's try again it's not giving me any selection there okay so I can't use manuals of course because I just clicked on the manual buttons and it's not letting me select that on the map Let's see if I'm missing something here Just drive and see, see if we can. Oh, here we go. As soon as you get on the road, it works. Right. Okay. So what, you can't set a waypoint until you're actually on the road. So if you're parked, sensibly parked, I've gone the wrong way here. Let's just reverse because you know shouldn't do this. But you know we're in the middle of nowhere. Nobody cares. There's no police, is there? Let's face it. Everyone's up. Look, everyone's up at the crack of dawn in this town. I tell you, these guys are up nice and early. Early birds catching the worm, and we're on our drive now. So safe driver skill, doing okay. Actually, I think I'm doing all right. Cash is rolling in. Safe driver skill is working. driving back to base for our next job with hopefully a new employer. I wonder if we can just step on it and overtake this guy. Can we see up the road ahead? Let's do it. Oh no, we've got to go here. Go on the hard shoulder, go on, do him. Let's do it now, step on it now. 
going to be a bit more risky now we've we've done our clean driving let's try and try and race these guys that's it look at this guy there look at him go look at him go I think he can beat me I'm a truck driver you're not beating me 91 kilometers an hour now I thought it was miles per hour earlier but there you go that's why I was, uh, I was going probably a bit slow my speed perception is not you know, not there in terms of where you're supposed to be. Oh, right, okay. Oh, that, that, do you know, that's the first time I've had a, I've been warned for speeding, so now I know. Oh, I've lost all that money. Back to being clean again. Need to have a, I didn't see any speed camera markings on the floor. I've let myself down. I feel bad. So back to the same old driving. I don't know what the speed limit is though. That's the thing. They all seem to be going a bit quicker. I should have got off just with a warning, I think. That was mean, wasn't it? First time. First time offender. You know. But never mind. Having our drive. Finding our new new uh customer of course it's very different driving a truck when you've got no trailer on there you feel a bit more racy it handles much better it accelerates much much faster obviously because you haven't got tons and tons that you're putting take this dude it's like dual isn't it you know you want to drive it get in your way and then you just drive around bothering them through the uh, the entire game turning his arse. This guy's going very slowly. Come on! What's going on there? If I wasn't turning off, don't turn. Good. Good. Onto a bit of dirt path. We love a bit of dirt path. Nice and rugged feeling when you're driving along. Rumbling over the dirt path. We're going pretty quick though. Here we are, the new employer, new money. Jobs. Right, there we are. Andre Funar. Mm, he's a very serious looking man. Right, truckload of bricks and mortar. Okay, that's it in front of me, I assume. That would help, you know, it does help when people tell you where they want to take it. Is that it there in the rear view? No, it's not. It's can't quite. Sometimes. That's the trailer. Sometimes you can't see the trailer very well because it's not as detailed right above my head as I see it in the video there. Take our time. It helps when you have two mirrors because I'd be looking in the other mirror to know when I need to straighten up. But we'll, we'll, we'll just handle it this way. Just means you're ever so slightly a little bit skew with when you're joining the trailer up. 
you could do this quicker but I, I, I just don't want to constantly bash into these trailers and mess it up there we go we just get the job done if you just take your time like real driving you should never be uh, mucking around on your reversing take your time take as long as you take so off we go then safe driving safe driving now viewers we we, get, we had our little speeding moment didn't we but we're going to be sensible and we're going to drive our way Pedal to the metal here. It's quite a bumpy road. Yeah, it makes me want to do some rally up it. Right. Rally on the brain. Okay. So. Hopefully there's not a car coming. No, that's fine. And off we go. Back onto the open road. Onto the open road. And a bit of driving, another nice day. That's sort of misty, isn't it, today? After this, we're just gonna check out some of the other options and bits and pieces in the game. And then we'll have a, no doubt, a full preview on a much later build closer to launch. It's breaking quite heavily there. He's not going very quickly and neither are we, but it's heavy braking. wondering where I put the trailer oh, I see the trailer's just getting a bit caught on the wall there which is a bit of a problem it's uh, an odd place to try and get the trailer on course and then try and reverse I'm, I'm useless at reversing trailers I warn you is a really tricky reversal for me because I I uh, can't quite get the trailer round to the right point. I to this, it should be like five percent over now. This doesn't help you can only see one side. getting closer been a bit of a mess it's just a bit awkward with the parking there I just wasn't quite aware of the line coming in the gate because you need to fully come in the gate before it um, it lets you uh, perfect 
Done. Done. Another happy customer, viewers. Another happy customer. Nicely done. He needed them bricks. Good. I needed a nice cup of tea. That makes me feel better. Cup of tea. Uh, have a cup of tea with the builders. Come in. All right. Have a cup of. Oh, look. Unlock something new. More cash. Lost some cash there, didn't I? Because that fine. Let's drive on, viewers. Skill level one for cargo, regular skill. Let's drive on. Strive on. Rubber ducky, we're driving on. Yes, I know manual gear is not available. Okay, so let's look at where we're going to go now. We, we just have to park up on the road now because I realise that's where uh, that's where uh, it all goes on. And let's just take a look at uh, R2. Look at the map. So garages. Maybe we need to go to a garage now to get a new truck. do that let's do that and then let's have a drive there see what the new trucks are and then we'll conclude our stream once we've had a look there Camaro just getting in our way there goodness me you don't want to get into a battle between a Camaro and a big rig truck come on get some scratches on your car my truck's gonna be fine it'll buff out won't out of yours so take this dude he's just going too slowly in that car there you go, look, there's a real muscle power, mate. Have a bit of that. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. It's been a pretty relaxed session so far. It's nice to do something a bit more relaxed. Don't want to go too quickly there. Okay. Done for speeding again. So we're going to go back to the garage and see what other trucks there are. I doubt we have enough money to buy anything new, but you never know. So we'll sort of fade in and out of this drive. That's just nice actually, just a nice cruising experience, not too loud, it's uh be interesting to know what the performance difference would be like this is running on a standard ps4 so it'd be interesting to know what it runs like on a ps4 pro and an xbox one x if there's any changes well I don't tend to use cruise control funnily enough even in real cars I just never tend to use it just tend to be like to be in control of the car myself I've always been that sort of person it's the precision for me of speed I like to hold a speed it keeps me awake otherwise when you're doing long drives you can just feel like you're almost you're almost not in control it's driving itself Cruise control now. Mm 
It's always handy for these longer drives, comparatively speaking. Perhaps a shorter drive than I was expecting. I haven't come across any sort of really long freeways yet. They're sort of country roads, really. have a look. So you might get fined for running red lights so we haven't done that yet and this is where we see all our different trucks. Great! Too much money. Yeah. I'm going to leave the garage. I'm going to do a few more jobs, and then I'm going to buy a new truck. Okay. So we have a bit of music as we leave the garage. Well, interestingly. Uh, let's take a look then, find some jobs and make loads of money. We're going to find our fish guy again and we're going to do some more with him. Unless you're actually on touching the road, it, it doesn't actually give you the map information. Okay, that's a bit of a a bit of a thing they need to just work out. So it means you just need to keep stopping on the road. There we are, comes up now. We've got the walk the pedestrians appearing there. Music stuck with us. Interesting. Back 
so the music just plays for a bit then just uh, while you're uh, leaving the garage just to get you that in that vibe I guess ordinarily if you have bought a new truck you'd be like yeah I've bought a new truck I feel good about myself and there's a bit of music just to help that feel good feeling pumped with your new truck ready to drive a bit of extra acceleration perhaps a bit of comfort better aircon anything's possible these days for us living room on wheels uh, your trucks are like essentially living rooms on wheels we've got a really slow slow drive in front of us haven't we Sunday driver come on let's see if we can overtake them on this bend in a really risky fashion and the outside on the power quickly cutting back to the inside and um, a little knock for them that's all right they'll be okay i didn't get in trouble no damage no damage come on let's take him oh on the brakes brilliant just in time for the town that's what you call racing there viewers racing automatic I've just turned on the cruise control just to enjoy the journey lovely views nice clear day again Do let me know what you think, what you'd like to see in the game. You'd like to see if I stream the final game. It's been a sort of more unusual for us to actually have a preview like this, just uh, where I'm just playing it for the first time, exploring it. And so it's from playing it, gaming like this, that we generate an opinion on where it should be based on what it's like. Like there, a nice little lighting effect on the side mirror the, uh, window there. It's nice to see spot effects like that graphical detail it's an open world environment uh, you know if you're not like the budget and technology of Forza Horizon 4 it's uh, always challenging to make it seem like it has life so I'm going to pick up the refrigerator trailer and that will conclude the uh, stream going still making our way there Get nice little sunlight effects on the glass that's nice pretty town nice hue over the ocean that sunset glow I do like it ah, I've got to find a rest place now ah, we can see one just down here and on that note viewers we're going to call it a night its Sun is setting and the sun is setting as well on on the video preview stream we've had here i hope you've enjoyed it uh, i'm going to get some sleep and then i will say good night and there'll be more from us on truck driver very soon but i hope you've enjoyed this little video it's a little tour the first hour roughly getting getting sort of orientation of, of getting into truck driver and there'll be more from me very soon